All right, we are back. This is match two, game one. I won the die roll. I will go first. What are we looking at here? It looks like a pretty solid start. I have blue, blue, red, red. Need for a legacy lure, and then phantom image, and then Glen Alintra. So, yeah, pretty good hand. I shall keep. And playing against PMC Nasty. McNasty, P. McNasty. Is that the guy's name? We shall see. Alright, well, I'm gonna pause. Have him come back. I did kind of wait a little bit this match. Okay, he's back. Let's go down. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and play Steve Vince. Uh, I do not want to play the two. Pay the two. Pass turn. Alright, P. McNasty, what are you playing? So he lost his first one also. Playing Swamps. All right, it's a good sign for me because I can. Let's see, do I want to draw more lands? Really, don't want to draw more lands, so I can get him sack, get my volcanic island. Boom! Volcanic island. Play legacy allure and pass turn. Yeah. I remember playing this card when it first came out. Tempest. Such a fun card. Wait on you, sir. Waiting on you. Alright, his second turn. Plays another swamp. Waiting. Waiting. What else do you got? Waiting. <laughs> Nothing. Sure. Alright, what's always yield? Yes. Hmm, Factor Fiction is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't have a turn three, so we shall. Well, it's not F6, because then this could signal that I have a counter. So, Factor Fiction, reveal top five cards of your library, and opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand, and the other into your graveyard. Alright, Live Bane Zombie. Intimidate. And there's a battle field target opponent reveals his her hand. You choose a green or a white creature. I have neither. But he does get to see my hand. So I could steal it in two turns if I want to. I probably won't. Because hmm. I'm sure he's going to play something huge that I will want to steal. Alright, let's go ahead and play. We've got lots of blue, lots of red. I'm going to go ahead and play the island, though. I should have played the mountain, because he didn't know I had the island. Um, I could play Glen Alindra. Hmm. Also kind of cool. Tricks was Persist. Didn't see that. So next turn, I'll have five mana. I can... So this turn I can Deep Analysis, or I can Factor Fiction. Which one's better? Probably Factor Fiction. Yeah, and I should have played Mountain. Maybe he'll he forgot to take a screenshot. I should have played Mountain, so he he would have thought he I would have had one unknown card. Yeah, that would have been better. Then turn five I can Glenelendra with one blue open, be able to sacrifice it, counter target non creature spell. All right, gets in there for three. I'm gonna have to take it. No blocks. He has four swamps. Something big, ooh, that's really big. Hmm. How am I gonna beat that? So, this comes in, whenever a source deals damage to Frixian Obliterator, that source's controller sacrifices that many permanents. So what I could do, is I could probably copy it if he attacks, I block, we all, we sack five permanents. I could uh, sack this, steal a creature, sack that, and then he has to get all, rid of all of his lands, and I'll have one land, he has four cards. 
Yeah, that's that may be maybe the play. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'll factor fiction first. See what he gives me, or what I want to take. That's the question. And then, so look at the top five. An opponent separates those two cards in a pile. Put one pile in your hand, and then the other in your graveyard. All right. So waiting on him to choose which way he wants to go with it. All right. So he chose an interesting. <laughs> Give me four cards. One. He really wants me. He really thinks I'm going to take Jace. Which, I don't know why he thinks I would take Jace. Um, what I'm going to do is take Repeal. I'll have five lands next turn. I'll be able to repeal that. I'll have three counters on the same place again. I'll have four. Take a hit, and then I'll be able to steal it maybe. I'm at 16. Take eight. That may be tough. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely choosing pile one. That's <laughs> no question on that. All right, yeah. What's uh, three counters on it? Um, not gonna play this. My I do value my lands. Um, so I have oh, five. I could play Seagate Oracle, Phantasmal Image. Um, he swings all. I mean, I block here. He has to sack three permanents. So I think that is definitely the play. I could always bounce it or I can steal it then too. So yeah, it's looking pretty good for me here. Let's play Island. Um. Let's go ahead and play Seagate Oracle. So let's look at the top two cards. Probably put one in your hand and the other in the bottom. That's when it enters the battlefield. So, hmm. I mean, I don't need any more lands. So it's, oh, dang it. I what, didn't read over here. So I thought by clicking on it, it'd give me the option. That was not the case. The first one you clicked goes in your hand. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Phantasmal image, your Frixian obliterator. Just a solid card. I may have two Frixian Obliterators soon enough, and it's not a legendary. So I'm at 16. If he attacks, you know, I'll block this guy. I hope to sack three permanents, so he won't attack with that. He may attack here. I will take five. And then do a swing, a crack back. The Liana's good. Makes me sack a creature. I'll sack here. <laughs> now that is interesting, isn't it? All right, waiting for P. McNasty. Yeah, discard a card. Interesting. All right. Well, we're gonna discard a mountain. That's pretty easy. Or even maybe a scolding turn. No, we'll get rid of a mountain. Because life, I mean, it's important, but not quite yet. I mean, one of those reanimate. Huh. Well, he didn't have a reanimate topic or subject, but. All right, here's a question. What are you going to attack with? Nothing. Good. I win that race. Yep. Hmm. I like that. So I've got six mana available. What's he going to do? Is, is he going to make me... What can I do here? So... I could do a lot. Of, I, let's see. I can bounce. Bounce this guy. I think I want to steal it, though. That's really what I want to do. So I'll have two of them. Two freaking obliterators coming at you. Um... I think I play... Play Karen. Yeah, Karenos. Draw strong. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, 
this is holding back his army. Swings here, I block a kill, he has a sec 3 permanent. Um, oh, that's the rub, right? He kills this, then I have to sack this, he hits me for 8. Okay. That was pretty good. I should have seen that, of course he's playing black, he's going to have removal. Yep. Alright, I'll sack this. I'll be able to steal that next turn. So if he swings, I can steal it. He has three cards in his hand. Eight puts me to eight. Alright, yep. Uh, draw to fairy. Let's blow him up, killing Liliana. Very good. And we will play a land. So this is five here, repulse open. Yep. Very good. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love control decks, man. Oh man, what if he attacks? This is gonna be sweet. Oh, uh, well, he, he attacks, he taps it, I steal it, he still gets three in. So I think I have to, I have to steal it now, so he doesn't attack. And it'll be untapped. Yeah, I thought I was going to get some cool blowout, but I guess I didn't. Alright, attack away, sir. <laughs> And at the end of your turn, I'm going to play Teferi. Oh, unless you got something. Ooh, at the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent draws a card. It's a 5-5 five, five flyer. And I can repeal that if I want to. Yeah, I like drawing cards. 5-5 five, five flyer, huh? Wait, are you P. McNasty? Draw card, bouncy tax. Alright, so you have to play everything sorcery speed. Good to know, good to know. Alright. Jude Fairy. Yep. Let's just get that out of get that out of here. Um, he's at 20. I can just steal it and attack for 8. He can draw outs to it, right? So there's 4. I can play 4. Um. Hmm. I could even steal, steal it. No. Well, let's attack for five. <laughs> yep. Frixian Obliterator, I gotta remember that. Alright, I'll draw my card. And is this whenever you draw a card? Reveal the first card you draw on each of your turns. Okay. No. All right. Zealous Conscripts is great. I'm going to be able to hit him so hard. So hard. He's at 15. That could be 10, 15. Depending on what he plays next turn. And 18 with Zealous Conscript because it does have haste. All right. Is that how this deck's supposed to work? Uh, destroy target non-artifact, non-black creature. It can't be regenerated. And this counters target non-creature spell. Okay. What are you choosing? Interesting. Alright. Let's 
so yeah, I'm gonna repeal it back to your hand. Or do I wanna steal, take five, steal it? No, I'm not gonna risk that. Bounce, baby, bounce, bounce. Okay. Blow you up. Hmm. Well, that's kind of interesting. Let's attack for nine. Getting it for nine. Might as well play deep analysis. Could have gotten in there for 12. May have been better. Okay. Pass turn. I could have played War and Power Stone 2 if I wanted to. Because I'll be able to fire an ice on tap target permanent, attack, get in there. All right, this is how the control deck's supposed to work. Although he did get stuck on four lands, so maybe maybe his deck's built around that though. He does have a reanimate, so he may have sweet reanimate targets for me to steal. Uh, nonetheless, Necrotal will blow up my sower. Sower's pretty weak. Doomblade will blow up my sower. So good to know. Karanos did work that game. I do like that. Repeal did some work. Um, counter. Weak Thrasher, is that... I need answers to his Obliterator, which I think I do have him. Chromox was kind of bad. Previous game. I just don't want to play it. Um, good to know for future drafts. Maybe Dismiss, just counter everything. He's get, if he gets something on the ground, though, that could be... You know, it could be bad. Seems like he's going to have... Big, big stuff, though, for me to counter to hold back. So, yeah, I like Dismiss. 